In this tutorial, we will learn how you can use multiple analog sensors using only one analog input pin. A whole range of sensors require analog inputs in order to receive data, and although there are often digital alternatives using libraries, you will inevitably need to use more than one analog sensor in some of your projects. Most microcontrollers come with at least one analog input pin. The Arduino Uno has six, which is usually enough for most projects. Although smaller, the Arduino Nano actually has eight. The ESP32 with its built-in Wi-Fi has even more with 18 pins. To save space and cost, the smallest and simplest devices have little or no analog input pins. The D1 Mini has only one pin. However, we can use multiple sensors from only one input pin by triggering these sensors to switch on only when we need to read from them, a process known as multiplexing. As an example, we will be connecting two potentiometers to the one analog input pin of the D1 Mini. A potentiometer is an adjustable resistor which provides an analog output voltage. Each potentiometer is connected to ground and the analog pin. A diode is used to prevent interference between potentiometers. Normally, we would connect the positive pin of the potentiometer to a positive terminal, such as the 5 volt pin, but in this case we want to be able to control when power is provided to it, so we use the signal provided by the digital pins, one for each potentiometer. In this case, we'll be using pins D7 and D8. When power is provided to D7, we are essentially turning on one of the potentiometers. By reading the analog input pin at the same time as D7 is switched on, we are able to see exactly what the potentiometer on the left is set as. We are unable to observe the value of the second potentiometer on the right due to the fact we are not providing power to it from the D8 pin. If we did, we would only be able to see the result of both potentiometer settings as their signals are going through the same input pin. To observe the value of the potentiometer on the right, attached to the D8 pin, we must first turn off output to D7. Then we must turn on D8 and simultaneously read from the analog input pin. We can then switch off D8 and repeat the process to continuously monitor both potentiometer settings, albeit with a small lag between readings as we change from one to the other. And now we will quickly connect everything together. Skip forward if you're happy following the schematic. The sketch for this demonstration is as follows. First we need to set our variables D7 and D8 as integers, as well as values for the pins D7 and D8 for the D1 Mini, GPIO 13 and 15 respectively. As usual, we start the serial monitor under setup so that we can observe what our code is doing. We also need to define our pins as being for output on D7 and D8 and input on A0. In the loop section, we start by switching on digital pin 7, waiting a small time for the voltage to settle, and then reading from the analog pin as D7. Next, we turn off D7 in preparation for reading the second potentiometer, which we do by repeating this entire process for the D8 pin. Finally, we print the result of D7 and D8 to the serial monitor for us to observe. Upload your sketch and you should now be able to see in the serial monitor the values for each potentiometer in turn as we adjust them. And that's how we use two analog outputs using only one analog input pin. We could extend on this sketch using Wi-Fi and the Blink app. I'll upload a demonstration sketch for you to download. <laughs> 